Hello, many users appreciated advantages of masks in 3D LUT Creator, and they were asking support on how to import masks from 3D LUT Creator into Photoshop. At the same time, the main advantage of masks in Photoshop is that they can be drawn anywhere. In this video, I will talk about mask exchange between 3D LUT Creator and Photoshop. This lesson will be useful to those who retouch or make collages. I have a picture with a plane and there is an image where I want to insert this plane. I have already cut out the plane beforehand to save time. Now I'm going to copy it and paste it on another image. This collage looks unnatural because the plane is almost neutral, but my photo has a tint. If I switch to 3D LUT Creator and click Image from PS button, the composed image will load and I will not be able to match the color of the plane to the color of the background because the whole photo is going to change. I need to see how the plane will be combined with the background, but I only need to affect the plane. What to do in such a case? I go to Photoshop and click on the plane layer, with Control key pressed down to select the plane. Now I go to 3D LUT Creator, hold the Shift key, and click on Image from PS button. An alpha channel with a selection is imported to 3D LUT Creator along with the image. To see it, you just need to press Ctrl plus 6 or Command plus 6 on Mac. This is how the alpha channel looks. I turn on the composite image again by pressing Ctrl plus 2. Now I can only work with the plane and match its color to tint of the background. How can this be done quickly? I go to Photoshop again, turn off the plane layer, then I go to 3D LUT Creator, and with the Ctrl key pressed down, I load the background as a reference image. Done. Now I need to extract curves from the reference and apply them to my image. I select an appropriate method for extracting curves and click on Grade button. What remains is only to smooth the resulting curves and adjust the contrast on your master curve. Done. Let me remind you that the selection in Photoshop remains on. This is important. I'll turn on the plane layer and send my LUT to Photoshop. The selection was transferred to the Mask of LUT layer. In order not to be tied to the selection, I click on the mask with Shift key to turn it off. And now I click between the LUT layer and the image with the Alt key. Now LUT will only affect the underlying layer, and the plane can fly anywhere. Now you know how easy it can be to match your collages in color. Let's consider an example. When the mask created in 3D LUT Creator needs to be transferred to Photoshop, I have a mountain landscape where the dirt on the sensor and digital noise are clearly visible in the sky. I'm going to fix it. I load an image from Photoshop, go to Mask tab and select HSP Mask. To make it easier to work with masks, I enable the comparison mode by pressing C button and turn on Mask Preview. Now I will add the necessary colors to the mask by clicking on the image with Shift pressed down and checking the selection on the mask preview. Everything I need is highlighted. I need to soften the mask edges. I invert the selection and send this LUT to Photoshop with Shift key pressed down. Thus in Photoshop, my mask is loaded as a selection. I will exclude the extra pixels from the selection. Now I'll create a new layer based on my selection by pressing Ctrl plus J. Here's what I've got. Now what remains is to fill the background. I'm going to create a new layer, select Gradient Tool, and create a new gradient by taking original colors as a basis. Now all I have left is to apply it. That's what happened. I will add some noise to make the gradient look smoother. Let's check the picture at 100% scale. The mask was made very quickly and precisely. This is before and after. That's all. Now you know how to use advantages of 3D LUT Creator in Photoshop when creating collages and working with masks. It's your turn to practice. Goodbye.